Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Hawaii in Real Life. We're here at Aloha Harmony Tea House, which is at Waikiki Beach Walk. Actually, you're more on the beach walk side beach walk of side. the and um, between lures and beach walk. Ah, okay, mm -hmm. and and you are Mary, right? Yes, Mary. Are you um you, you work here at the tea house? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Been here about a month. Oh, so. mm -hmm. and that's as, it's as the length of open. the opening. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. So I was wondering, you have like how many loose leaf teas here? We have eighty-seven of the loose leaf in the canister from the Aloha Harmony Tea House brand, mm -hmm. and then we have an array of different pre-packaged teas from the Tea Republic or the Republic of Tea, um, a local brand here from Hawaii, and then also some Tea Forte brand and then we have some of a Basilur brand as well and that's from Sri Lanka. So. Very exotic. Okay so what's your most popular tea? We have a couple populars. We have some black teas that are really popular. Some of a Mauritius blend which is a black tea and a vanilla background okay. and it's um, really high in caffeine and it's a little bit similar to coffee but it's still a tea if you want to smell. Ooh. Yeah. It smells kind of milky, mm -hmm. like creamy. Yeah, and we yeah. do make it with a milk, a condensed milk Ooh. here in the store. And we pretty much have that every day, so. Nice. That's always available. And then we have some tropical teas, um, black teas, as well as white, green, and rooibos, as well as yellow tea, and oolong. So there's quite a bunch of different ones that we have, and it just varies. Okay. And they all vary from different areas, different regions as well. I noticed you have a bunch of chai teas. What's the difference? Masala, chocolate, wedding? Some of the ingredients in the chais, some lack or have more in uh, their ingredients. Some have cinnamon, some have a cardamom seed, some have a different kind of cardamom seed, some have a spice. Um, and then this one, yeah, chocolate, chocolate in added into it. And then a wedding chai okay. has more of a vanilla background okay. in there. And then a coconut has coconut added into it. Okay. And then decaf, of course, is going to have no caffeine. So. Okay, no. Oh, no caffeine. So I've, I've been told that tea has as much caffeine as coffee. Is that true? It doesn't have as much, but it does vary. A black tea is going to have the next level of caffeine to coffee. And then it's as you go down, it's going to be oolong. And then it's going to be green. And then uh, white tea. And then you're going to have no caffeine and an herbal or red tea, which would be like a rooibos tea. Mm. No. So what's the point of no caffeine herbal teas? Just to not be wired, I guess. Some people just don't like caffeine and they don't react and you get headaches or you get dehydrated. It just depends. And then uh, the benefit of tea would be <laughs> life longevity. It's good for the skin. It's good for the hair. And it also is really good for your system. Doing um, not so much of a cleanse or a detox, but more of a regulation. It helps the system regulate. Tea makes you regular? Yes, it does. It helps. I mean, it's not going to do any magic, but it's going to work for you. <laughs> I can't even. So, um, for nonstop Mari, if you're watching, Parkrat, who's holding the camera, drinks a lot of tea. And I know you're wondering how he does it. That's how. Yeah. So, tea, um, it, it helps you with your metabolism mm -hmm. and it helps to flush you mm -hmm. out. Yep, and it is a good dietary thing if you want to stay regulated on what your diet is doing. Tea is going to help. Um, prolong hunger as well as get you hungry is in the same instance. It just depends oh, okay. how you react to caffeine. So, okay. so and but it's not a magic bullet, right? No, 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 no. People, some people who are fasting and stuff, that's the only thing they can drink because it's going to have some kind of energy boost in there. So okay. it helps. Okay, good to know. So, um, are you guys on the web? We are on the web. We will have the website set up um, probably within. A month from this date and this is like mid-February so okay. we're hoping to have it up by the end of this month and then we have a Facebook page Aloha Harmony Tea House. Okay mm -hmm. and is Aloha Harmony on Twitter? I don't believe it is if it is I haven't seen any of the evidence of it yet so. We'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> okay so um, just click this link below mm -hmm. and we're gonna talk to Mary some more about tea you know just learn more about tea and more about what they carry here at Aloha Harmony Tea House. In the meantime Visit them. You guys are open every day? 7 to 10 every day, seven okay. days a week. And get your tea. On the corner of Embassy Suites. We're going to taste some too. Yeah. <laughs>